use it or lose it. Many privileges are conditioned on this principle. For example, some employees lose their vacation leave if they don't use it by a certain date each year. But does this principle hold true with property easements? The Virginia Supreme Court explored this question in Lindsay v. Clark. Floyd Clark owned four adjoining lots with his wife Helen. In 1937, Clark conveyed the front portion of two lots to their daughter and her husband, Mabel and C.W. Six. Clark reserved a right of way in the deed that was 10 feet wide and ran the length of the Six property on its south border. This easement allowed Clark to access the part of his property that was located behind the Six property. However, Clark created and used a driveway on the north border of the Six property. In addition, the Sixes built a house on their property that overlapped the deeded south easement by two feet. Despite the language in the deed, neither Clark nor the Sixes ever realized that the easement was supposed to be on the south border rather than the north. In 1939, the Sixes sold their property to William McGee, and the deed reserved the same south easement. McGee then sold the property to Horace Lindsay and his wife Mary Louise in 1944, but this deed didn't include the easement. Lindsay didn't perform a title search at the time of purchase. Throughout these years and changes in ownership, Clark continued using the north driveway, and no one objected until Lindsay sued Clark several years after purchasing the property. Lindsay asked the trial court to enjoin Clark from using the north driveway and to either declare that Clark abandoned the deeded south easement or stop him from using it. The trial court concluded that Clark didn't abandon the south easement, but the court didn't require Lindsay to move the encroaching house if Lindsay allowed Clark to continue using the north driveway. Lindsay appealed to the Virginia Supreme Court. <laughs>